Hello everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time, I hope you'll stay. It's been a Kippy Gillies. So today we are touching on the topic of religion within the Spanish language. So I've chosen a list of popular expressions that we say that you will hear every day within the Spanish language. And perhaps you haven't really thought it was, they were religious, but now you will see the connection. Okay, as you um, know, um, religion is a very important element when you're studying any sort of culture because it's normally very present no difference to Spain. Religion is all around us in, the, in celebrations, in not only names of people, but names of places, names of things. And so, of course, this lesson had to be done. It's very easy. This can be used for year seven all the way up to year 12. Okay, um, everyone will find something useful in this video. Okay, without further ado, let us begin. Okay, so the first one that you will find on the list is Todo Dios. Todo Dios. Word for word, all God. All God. And this refers to everyone. So I might say, Va a estar ahí todo Dios. So everyone is going to be there. Maybe you're having a party and I ask, who's going to be there? Pues todo Dios. Everyone, so you can't miss it. Everyone will be there, todo Dios. So todo Dios means everyone. Okay? Quiero todo Dios ahí. I want everyone there, todo Dios. I love this expression. In the Mancha region, you hear it quite a lot. Okay, next one. Even if you don't study Spanish, I am positive you know this one. Okay? Dios mío! Exclamation. I don't even have to translate that into English because you know that already. Okay? My God! Dios mío! My God! Okay, how would you use that? Do you use it? Dios mío! ¿Has, has oído? My God, have you heard? Dios mío! Surprise or um, shock or whatever it is. An exclamation. My God! Oh my goodness! I prefer to say goodness than God, but the translation is God because Dios is God. Okay? Right. Next one. Decir el pecado, pero no el pecador. Word for word, to say the sin, but not the sinner. And I love this saying because it makes sense. Um, and it's when you refuse to name someone, so perhaps you're in class and somebody stopped chewing gum to the teacher's chair and you'll say, oh, somebody did that. Yeah, somebody stuck gum to that chair. You saw who did it, but you don't want to name anyone. Okay, so you might say that something's been done, but you won't name the person, even though you know who did it. Okay, so to not grasp somebody up. <laughs> So that is it. To refuse to give someone's name when they've done something. Okay? Love it. Okay? Decir el pecado, pero no el pecado. Okay? Did you know that one? Please let me know if you knew that one. And also, which is your favorite after I've gone through the list? The next one is Todo el Santo Día. All the same day. Funny, funny. Todo el santo día means the whole day. You want to make a massive emphasis that it's not been a short while, okay? It's been a long time and you're quite, you're not happy about waiting for so long. And perhaps it hasn't been the whole day, but it's just been absolutely ages and you want to make that emphasis that it's been a long time. So the whole day we say in English, I've been wait, waiting for you the whole day. And I'm not pleased. I'm not pleased at all. Llevo todo el santo día esperándote. 
y, y, y ahora llegas? I've been waiting for you the whole day and you're just turning up now. Look at me. Not happy. Todo santo día esperándote. Okay, the whole day waiting for you. <laughs> okay, next one. Asando de que. Asando de que. It's sort of like saying, why on earth? Okay, asando de que vienes ahora. Why on earth are you coming now? Okay, why on earth? Asando de que, for what reason? Why on earth would you do that? Okay, for what reason? What's your reason? reasoning behind this? Asanta de que? Where's this all coming from? Okay? Right. Next one's a little bit naughty. And I'm not saying use these. I'm just saying these are perhaps the most popular ones that I've come across. Okay? So, vete al diablo, word for word, go to devil. Go to devil. We have an expression in English for that. Do you know what it is? <laughs> right. Um, the mild version I would say is leave me alone or go away. <laughs> the mild version. Okay, so leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone to not be as mm, quite as naughty because I want to remain politically correct, okay? It's a little bit harsher, vete al diablo. In English, we would use the expression that ends in hell, heaven, hell. Fielo, in, in infierno, okay? Do you know what it is? Let's just say leave me alone or go to, not heaven, but go to, yeah. <laughs> right, so go to, Go to the place that you don't really want to go to when we die because we want to go to heaven. Go to there, okay? Right. The next one, and I think I've given this to you before because I love this expression and so I've used it prior to this lesson. And vivir en el quinto infierno. So, word for word, to live in the fifth, the fifth, remember the ordinales? Primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto. So the fifth hell. So to live in the fifth hell. I've just put hell here, so I could have put it over there as well. But what it means is to live out in the sticks, to live really far away. So um, imagine all my friends live in the centre and I live 10 miles out on the outskirts of the city. And they might say to me, es que no vamos a venir a tu casa porque tú vives en el quinto infierno. Okay, so you live really far away. Out of the stick is too far. Okay? To live far away. Okay? Right, the next one I love. Como una catedral. Like a cathedral. Which means something is very obvious, it's blatant, it's clear to see, monumental. Remember, cathedral is monumental, it's big, it's massive, isn't it? It's huge. So, um, I might say, which is a typical one, you'll hear, hear this being used in this um, manner. Es una mentira como una catedral. Okay? It's a lie like a cathedral. It means it's a blatant lie. It's a massive lie. Okay? Love that. Let me know if, you, if you've ever heard that one. And you can use it. Okay? Como una catedral. Huge. Or monumental. Okay? So you, you'll hear that a lot. Okay, right. Next one. Ser Judas. Okay, so for that, do you remember? Um, if you ever went to Sunday school, if you read the Bible, if you're a Christian, you would have seen or heard Judas, the person who betrayed Jesus. So when you, somebody says to be a Judas, it means that you betrayed your friends. Okay, you, yeah, you stabbed somebody in, in, in the back, not quite literally, but in a 
figurative manner. So to be a Judas is to be, yeah, the same, to be a Judas, to betray your friends or to betray someone, your friend or your friends or someone, okay? No estoy hablando con Tomás porque es un Judas. I'm not speaking to Thomas because he's a bit of a Judas, okay? He betrayed me, okay? <laughs> Okie dokie. Right. Madre de Dios. Madre de Dios. Exclamation. Madre de Dios. ¿Has oído lo que han hecho? Mother of God, have you heard what they've done? Okay? Madre de Dios. And so it's just showing surprise whether it's positive or negative. Mother of God, um, quite literally. I would say, oh, Lord, instead of Mother of God, I would say, Lord, oh goodness, okay? When you really want to show that surprise or shock, Madre de Dios, okay? Mother of God, good God, good, Goodness gracious! I don't say goodness gracious. <laughs> a lot of these expressions with these exclamations with Dios or Madre de Dios, they translate to the same thing. But since I was brought up to not use the name of God in vain, I normally change them for goodness. Okay, so instead of saying God, I would say goodness, goodness me. Or instead of saying my God, I would say my goodness. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know if you do that, but okay, it's just, it's just another way of saying it. And the last one, tener en un altar. Okay? Tener, tener a alguien en un altar. Okay? Tener en un altar means to put someone on a pedestal. Okay? You really adore them, you really think a lot of them. Okay, um, yeah, to put someone on a pedestal, okay, you really adore that person. <laughs> I feel as though um, I've gone on too long with this video and there's a lot of echo in this class, so I hope that did not hinder your comprehension. And I also hope that you're taking something valuable from this lesson. And so with that, guys, I am going to leave you until next time. Okay? Adios. Take care. No. Que Dios esté con Vaya con Dios. What does that mean? Leave that down below for me. And also, share with me. Do you have any other expression um, that's related to religion? Let me know. Bye.